up YouTube? We got the CVT transmission. Or a, a GY6 engine. This right here is a GY6B motor, but the GY6As are the same. So, there's a bunch to know about this whole setup, but I'm gonna give you the basics. So right behind here, you'll see, whenever I do this, this uh, install video, you'll see that there are six rollers behind here, back behind here. The lighter the rollers, the higher the overall engine RPM. The heavier the rollers, the opposite. So there's a perfect gram for your weight and your terrain. Um, on a basic GY6, it's 10 gram. That's like the performance weight. Um, and then you got the belt. So as you notice, you'll see the, uh, the, the belt. Imagine this being a chain. So the way that, you know, like a motorcycle is, it's smaller up front, you know, the sprocket would be here and bigger in the back. So as you accelerate, these switch rolls. So it goes smaller back here, meaning the belt gets squished in just like up here and higher up there. So that's why they call it a CVT, a, a variating transmission. Um, and then the, uh, the clutch, this, if you notice, this is like drum brakes on a car or anything really. Well, the faster this spins, the quicker this, uh, depending on your springs, you have 1000 RPM, 1500 and 2000 RPM clutch springs. They'll, they expand out through centrifugal force and grab this clutch, which turns the wheel. And then you've got another little spring. You can see it back there, the yellow spring. That's basically the tension on the belt, how tight you wanna squeeze the belt down between these pulleys. So those are like the three adjustments, the clutch springs, this, they call this a secondary uh, spring, and the variator rollers. A really great mod for these guys is uh, the CVT transmission kit. That's what I'm about to show you in this video. It'll come with everything you need, all the performance springs that are matched up with the rollers, because it takes a lot of time and effort to figure out what springs go with what rollers and what secondary springs and how many RPMs you want your clutch to engage and so on. Right, when you buy a CVT transmission kit, that's all figured out, it comes all in the kit. So that's the important part about buying a kit versus buying you know, the variator rollers and the spring all separately. It's all the hard work has been done for you. All of this will apply to anything with a CVT transmission, which is pretty much any scooter built after, let's say 1990. There's actually some older ones that have CVT as well, but to be safe, all of them have CVT transmissions. You'll know that because you have a belt, basically. All right, you guys, I got this motor here, and I've got this uh, uh, performance CVT kit. This will increase the performance quite a bit. The good thing about this, rather than you piecing it all together, is everything has been tuned. There's no guesswork on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this cover on this motor and we're gonna install all this performance, all these performance parts. This will be a CVT rundown on a 150cc GY6 engine. Install and a little education. So here we go. I'm gonna remove this uh, Kickstarter. You can't pull the cover without it. It'll come out with it if you don't. So pull that guy, give it a little jiggle. One thing you should do though is uh, take something like a a little straight edge and mark right there where the crack is. So you install it back the way it was. And then uh, you gotta take the screw completely out. If you don't, then it won't be able to be pulled off. This is a brand new motor, so we have this little covering. I'm gonna remove all the uh, eight millimeter nuts, bolts, from the uh, entire CVT. If you're wondering where I got this stand, it, uh, it's from Warfab, War Fabrications. All right, there's any more? Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna tap this with the mouth to break the seal. Um, so there it is, we get that cover removed. We gotta start removing the clutch and the variator. It's always a good idea to have one of these tools. Let me back this camera up. This guy right here, this is a variator tool or a clutch tool. You can do, they're used in either term. So see, I can stick that 
down in there. Now I, now I can hold my uh, tool while I loosen that guy. There we go. So I'm gonna take this nut, put it to the side, take the barrier and the washer, set that aside. Same thing over here, we need to loosen this uh, 17 millimeter here. You can come in with a big ol' impact and then just hit it with that. Hold your uh, clutch, hold your clutch bell though, this guy, before you do that. Just like that. And then set your uh, washer and nut aside. Pull the clutch bell off. And then pull the belt off, just like that. Now I'm gonna try to get this uh, gasket out of the way without ripping it. If you do rip it, it's not the end of the world. If you just give this little wiggle, put your finger back behind, like that. And here is our uh, variator, brand new rollers and everything. I just take a little uh, razor blade and kind of uh, get it up underneath there and real nice and easy just do a little wiggle. Just do that all the way around. Okay, so I think I've got this gasket pretty well. There, there we go. It's got that little rip right there. Like I said, not the end of the world. Okay, so we've got everything off. We've got our new variator right here with the new uh, rollers. So I'll just drop those into there real easy. This variator's got a, a more aggressive ramp than the stock variator. It's also lighter. So we'll just get these, these just drop in like this. And then see, if, here's your old uh, backing plate. And then it's your new one, so you're just gonna drop it in. Oh, one more thing. This guy, your boss, here your boss, drop that down. And then line that up. You could squeeze that down just like that. And then, you see I'm squeezing? And then, just like that. So there, there the, there's the variator. And then, we, so we're not gonna use any of this. We'll use the belt, and then we'll use the new fan. We can put our washer here. And our nut there. We're, we're not gonna need any of this stuff any, anymore. Moving on to the clutch, we've got our uh, clutch bell here. That's gonna come off and be replaced with this guy. However, we'll be using this clutch. We need to remove this nut and underneath there is a spring. And then we're, and then we're gonna also reuse uh, the bottom part of this. And we'll put this secondary slider on there and the spring. So there's a little bit of work we need to do to make it a complete clutch. Not only that, is we have a bearing drive for our spring, because the spring is applying pressure and it turns as well. The stock setup doesn't have that. So we'll place all those little bearings in there and then uh, it'll roll real nice on there. So, so we got our bearings all, all the way around. You can apply a little bit of grease as well. I really don't like to do a whole lot of grease because it'll fling around and get on the belt. So see it now our spring turns real nice. I'll add a little bit of grease, but I don't want to do a lot. That's how that works. All right, so here's our clutch and uh, I'm just sitting in a chair. And then, how do you like my uh, Hawaiian shoes? Those are classic. Huh? There's a tool for this, but I just, I actually have the tool, but it's easier just to do this. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, now that I got it loose, there's the nut. Pull the clutch off. There's the uh, spring. And then the uh, secondary slider is attached here. Let me show you how to pull that off. Okay, so we've got to get this up. I'm gonna see if I can just pry it lightly, just get a screwdriver underneath there, just like that. 
And then you can wiggle that guy off. Now you see these um, little pins. You notice that uh, we've got on our uh, little secondary slider a few different options. So you've got a nice and smooth one, you've got a little more aggressive. Uh, those are like the two options. So uh, I'm going to uh, pull these pins out, stick my screwdriver in there and pop that pin out just like that. And there goes my screwdriver. And then you can take this little sleeve out. See if you can notice the sleeve should slide out. There we go. Just like that. There's uh, three of those. There's one there, one there, and one there. Do that on all three of those. Okay, so now that I've got these three uh, little pins out, now you can pull the original one off. Now this is one that you definitely want to grease, um, this whole area. The only thing that we're really going to be reusing is this guy. Uh, these come with O-rings. You want to put those O-rings uh, in these little channels. There's two of them. Just like that. There's one there and then one down at the bottom. Just roll that down there. And you, on that one too you put a little bit of grease. So see I've got those O-rings in. So let's get that ready. Okay so here is our uh, secondary slider. I'm just going to apply uh, grease on all this stuff, even on the channels here. One thing you don't want to try to get keep grease off of is this area. If you get it on there, you got to clean it off. Now, this guy, get the, get the grease all around there. And finally, the channel where our bearings are going to go, those little ball bearings. Just get some grease down in the, the channel there, all the way around. I don't want to do heavy grease on this because I don't want it to fling everywhere. There's our bearings. We just slide that down and kind of work the bearings with the grease. Okay, our uh, new spring is going to go right over, right on there like that. And then we'll, this came off the old one. That just goes on the top there, just like that. Again, clean this guy off really good. Don't you don't want any grease where the belt's going to ride. And then it's a push and twist at the same time, just kind of work it. It's like that. There we go. Uh, again, I was going to run these uh, the more aggressive. So just line the holes up like I did. See that? And then start adding your little pin. Okay, one's in. Now we'll go around and do the other one. There. It's every other hole is what it is. And my final one. Okay, so once you've got that on, you got to cover that back up. But remember you had this one that didn't roll covering that. We're going to use now our spring with the bearings. All right, okay, so there's our roller. I cleaned this off really well. Here's our spring. That's gonna go right on top of there. We're gonna compress that spring down, and you see these notches here? See how that, see how that sits, just like that? Imagine the spring being pressed down, and then this nut will get screwed on. I'm gonna push this down with my feet. Again, they do have a tool for that. I just find it easier to use my feet. I'll do that off camera. Push it down with your feet. So it basically looks like this. You're pushing that down, lining it up, putting that nut on. Okay? Okay, so here it is. If you notice this blue line, that line was already there. So I tightened it to match that line. The spring is compressed underneath there. Everything's good. And then our clutch bell will go on there. At this point, we just want to put our uh, gasket back on. Go that way. Just line your dowel pins up. That'll hold them in place. And then we can put the clutch on here in just a sec. So here I've got the clutch ready to install. 
there is a little bit of a trick. If you notice, I have the belt inside the clutch like this. So this is a pull up and turn at the same time. So, so I'm, I'm kind of like got my heels or the, my palms down like this and I'm just gonna pull up and turn just like that. Then I can get my belt in. See how I did that? Now the belt is down in its channel. I could slide this guy into place. See the slack I've got up here? Very important. This variator on without it binding on the belt on the back at all. So there we go. And then uh, get your uh, washer and then that. I'm just gonna do that so it's till it's hand tight, wiggling the belt a little bit. There we go. Now I can get this bell on. Just slides over the spines and the washer and nut. There it is. The, I'm gonna crank these down, but then all I have to do is put the cover back on and we are done. And that's how you do a performance um, CVT transmission on a GY6. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video.